Joe Gibson unleashing on his ex-girlfriend. Yes, it's a back again. Police are investigating possible domestic violence charges and articles are pointing out that years ago he admitted he was bipolar and manic depressor. So, they have been Well, how, you know, in terms of culpability, what are you responsible for if indeed you do have an illness like that? So I think, you know, people are going to say, well, do we believe this is true? Is there documentation of it being true? Was he not taking the proper medication or herbs, whatever you need to be doing? Herbs. And then is he responsible? <laughs> a little oregano. Cures manic depression. Do people go easier <laughs> on you? I mean, if, it, if it's proven that you're, you know, manic depressive or you're bipolar, no. do, do you get well, it easier? No, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't know. <laughs> Victim. I'm a victim of, right. of X, Y, or Z. I mean, you know, I know Mel Gibson I a little. Bit. I know Mel Gibson a little bit, and and, and, and I oh, think this nice. is uh, this is one of the saddest sagas. And one reason I think it's sad, which isn't you know talked about all that much, he left his wife. We had what seven kids with eight children with seven seven children yesterday. with, and not a lot of good things come of your leaving your wife, who you've been with for thirty years, and you've had seven children with. Okay, he's made that decision, and the narcissism of the whole celebrity culture has enveloped him, and well, sadly. That's where he is. He's an enormously talented man. I was saying that yesterday. I don't know, and, 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 because we never heard about any of this stuff going on when he was with Robin and the yeah, seven kids. Sometimes it's the stability right. of, of marriage that keeps you, you know, centered and grounded. I love when he says, I own you. It sounds like my contract with ABC, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Burger who's coming on later in the show actually who'll right. be here to talk, nice. about, talk about what sort of things he should do. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, a lot of people were fans of Mel Gibson, yeah. and I think a lot of people are searching for answers of what well, could have happened. Why is she releasing these tapes? Why is she doing that? She was fearful. Like, well, well, was, she, she has no power. Why she has she the money. Why is she releasing the tapes? She said she didn't. She said she didn't release these tapes. She said she didn't. That's what she said. Say that again. Go to the police. She said Asana said she did not release the tapes. Oh, okay. Did you ever see the movie Chinatown? At one point, yes. she says, "He says, go to the police." She says, "He owns the police." Come on, I don't think Mel doesn't own the police. He's a powerful, no, no, no. powerful guy. You, you know what? He's he ever did any of this stuff, and she has every right to do whatever she wants with this tape. Go ahead, baby. Well, I just, I just think, look, this is an incredibly sad saga. This man is amazingly talented. I don't care what anyone thinks about his politics. He's an amazing talent. And like so many people in the narcissism-driven uh, celebrity culture that we all have become uh, accustomed to, He's gotten sucked into his own press coverage, his own yeah. positive cr yeah. press coverage, and he doesn't have a good sense of himself. That's what's really sad here. Did you well, read I, what he said? It's horrible, horrible stuff. It's, it's, it's way beyond. It is. I have to take a minute here. I need to take a minute here because there has been a, a lot of hassle and hazarai in the media recently about mom. <laughs> because, yes, a hazarai. Uh, because I had the audacity to say that I had some personal time with Mel that goes over years and years and said that I did not think of him as a racist. People lost their minds and said, oh, you, you are defending him. I do believe, had you actually watched the show, all of you nice bloggers out there and all the folks that sit around at home and try to figure out stuff to do, if you had actually watched the show, you would have heard us say and you would have heard me specifically say, I don't condone this. I don't think this is right. I don't think this is smart. But here's the piece of information that I have. My experience tells me that this is not a racist. Now, being a black woman, you'd think you would give me a little bit of, of you know, leeway to have some feel if I was around a racist. But okay, I understand. I understand you don't get it. I understand that. But then people called my office, really? called my office, and went off on the young lady that works there. You're gonna call because you think I'm doing something wrong? And you do the same thing to this young lady that you don't even know that Mel Gibson supposedly did? Who are you? You can kiss my behind. Okay? The last thing, the last thing, don't be a coward. If you, I can sit up here with, say this is what I believe, and you don't have to like it. But I do it, and you see me face to face, and you call my office, you cowardly piece of dog mess. <laughs> Listen, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. And the last thing I want to say, because I want to confess to you guys, <laughs> is that I myself am a racist. <laughs> yes, I mean, you're
laughing, but here's what happens. If you cut me off while I'm driving, and I happen to look over, whatever I see, that's what you are. Okay? You are a black or you're a white or you're a female you are everything in the book in, in my book and I realize given the criteria people are using for racists that I'm a racist now if any of you can actually look in the mirror and say that you've never done that then you get the right to cast the first stone we'll be right back with more Hot Topics